Hey everyone, and welcome to the first player review on Two Bros Chell's channel. To start off, we're going to be reviewing Movember Tarasenko. Uh, here he is on one of the lines he'll be playing in the review with Jamie Benn and Tyler Sagan Movember cards. Um, all three of them are great playmakers, great snipers, uh, decently fast, some size in there as well. Um, and I felt like they'd mesh well together and be able to get some good scoring chances. He earned the spot through the review where he moves up to the first line for a bit with Movember Ovechkin and Movember Crosby. Again, Crosby's a great playmaker to set him up and then he can also set up Ovechkin and then Crosby, of course, can also score. Um, and this line, he, he didn't play too well on it, so I ended up moving him, as you can see, to this line with Steven Stamkos Movember and Pavel Bure World Cup of Hockey onto the second line. This was probably the best line that he played with. Um, and this was also the second, uh, second power play unit that he played with, as I'll show you in a second. But this line, insane speed, insane shooting ability. Unfortunately, there's not too much defense, so I typically only put them out in the offensive zone, but when they were out there, they scored a lot of goals. As I mentioned earlier, here's the first or second power play unit that he'll be on. Um, he scored most of his goals here. Insane, insane uh, power play guy. He That's where he's at his best, and he played with Blake and Burns on defense. Um, and then here are the synergies I was going to be running on the team. So Jerry Dangler, Wicked Rister, Offensive Juggernaut, Speedster, which he has activated on his own card, Defensively Responsible, Heavy Hitter, One-Time Efficiency, which is another one that he will have activated because it's a team synergy, which will give him plus three hand dive, passing, offensive zone awareness, cycle game, plus two endurance, agility, puck control, and passing, um, to long range bomber, plus three slap shot power, slap shot accuracy, and plus three offensive awareness, and then tape to tape, plus three passing, offensive awareness, poise, um, and then shot blocking to give him those defensive boosts. All of these team synergies really, really boost him up a lot, especially in offensive awareness, which is why he's probably so good at that one timer. Um, just such an overall great card, great offensive threat. Now we're going to go ahead and look at Tarasenko's card specifically. On the cards, you got 95 skating, 97 shot, 96 hands, 91 checking, and 90 defense. He's got the speedster synergy, 1T synergy, and cycle game synergies all activated, and also three other team synergies for him. Now he's got 96 acceleration, 96 agility, 92 balance, 96 speed, 95 slap shot accuracy, 94 slap shot power, that amazing 97 wrist shot accuracy, and 94 power, 97 deking, 97 hand die. This guy is just an offensive fiend. He also has 90 discipline, which is really helpful, and 97 offensive awareness. As we move into the highlights here, you can just see how good he is. I mean, look at his hands on this play specifically. He goes in and out under the stick and he finishes in the top of the net. This is something you'll see constantly in this review. He will always finish at the top. This is also a play you're gonna be seeing a lot. It's a simple one-timer off of the power play. He is so efficient at this one-timer, and this is with the Bomber and 1T synergies activated, and it's one of the most consistent shots in the game. If you can get it onto his tape, it's guaranteed to go in and out on the top corner. Here's another example. I get it to Blake. I kind of wait for him to get open. As you see, he goes to the top of the hash marks, and he gets on one knee, and it's in the top of the net. Here's a similar situation. However, this one's a tad different. I try to get the one-timer off, but unfortunately he can't really reach it uh, because the defender gets in front. But he's able to get back and keep it in, not only keep it in, but then skate in the middle and finish a top corner. Um, that really just kind of shows how good he is, how he can just adjust to a situation. Here you can see him working with Pavel Bure. They mesh really well together. Same thing, he's standing in the middle in between the hash marks and he's able to get the pass and finish it. Um, just a great finisher all around. Um, we're back on the power play here and this is probably when he's at his best. It's his very similar goal as you see Samkos over to him and he's able to just put it in. His power play, he's really most efficient there. Um, I think I scored most of my goals with him on the power play. Unfortunately, on this power play, he couldn't get it going because of the aggressive goalie. But you saw he got that stick lift off and he was able to even get through and pass the defenseman onto goal. Here's one of the rare opportunities that he kind of missed the net. Normally, they get saved um, and he actually gets on target. Um, but here's another part of his game, his physicality. He's not really too physical in the sense that he'll be knocking players down like that all the time, but he can definitely hold off defensemen. Um, here you see an example of his speed. He just burns by everyone and finishes top corner. But as I say, his physicality, it's insane. He's able to hold off defensemen, push them off, um, and here's, he got a hat trick off the one-timer again. Um, but he's able to push them off and really just get open. 
Um, and that's what allows him to use that wonderful shot. So here's his hands again. He smoothly does that through the legs deke, kind of skates in behind Ovechkin and bar down. Um, and really that's what you can expect from him. Uh, here he is working on the third line with Ben, as I showed earlier. Uh, ben gets a shot off and they're both able to work in the corner, get the puck, and here's where you see his passing ability. It's kind of under noticed, um, but he does have 98 passing and as you saw there, he was able to find an easily back door. Here's an example of his strength. He broke through them too. He pushed off that check. And really, it's it's kind of crazy how strong he is. But I think it's more of his balance. He has really good balance, um, and that helps him a lot. Here, he couldn't score, but he was able to keep offensive zone time going. And then this is after a long shift. He's tired, and he receives a drop pass here. He's able to do a few moves, and then he's able to cut in, and this is just the easiest goal you can score in the game, really. Um, another play, here's after I moves him on to the first line. Um, I try to get a one-timer going, but he's able to move around the screen there. And uh, he's able to hold off the defender here, and he doesn't get the goal. But this is just an example of his strength. Look how he's bouncing off the defenders there. Um, here's the prime example of his speed. Uh, this here, he'll get a breakaway after getting a good steal. That shows his good stick checking. And he just burns by foot. He can't unfortunately beat him all the way to the goal, but he gets a penalty shot and you can see his silky smooth hands here. And I kind of slid it down for you and you honestly need to see it going because you already know where it's going. That's going top corner. So here's another example of his speed. He's going to burn by Wilson. Wilson, uh, as most of you probably know, is a great defender and really fast. He couldn't finish there because the guy controlled his goalie, um, which is, you know, it's a lot harder to kind of pick the corners if they know where you're going to aim. But he was able to get the puck to Taves after holding off the defender. Um, and that's one thing, he doesn't lose the puck, and the puck kind of just bounces off him, and normally he picks it up. Uh, here's an example of a slap shot. It's not as good as his wrist shot. His wrist shot's definitely his best trait, but he does have that in his arsenal. Um, here's another toe drag, top corner. Um, and these are all in nine games. All of these highlights are coming in my first nine games of this card. Um, I just picked him up the other day, and I, I love him. He's just so fun to play with. Here you can see his great stick lift and then his great ability to get the, the puck from his skate to his stick and he does it twice here as he first does the move but then after he gets a small little check he's able to get it back to his stick and then shoot it around the goalie. So in the nine games I played with him I had 13 goals and two assists for a total of 15 points and he was plus two probably because most of his points came on the power play and then those zero penalty minutes with his great 92 discipline. Uh, that's huge for me because that means he's on the ice more and says sitting in the box and he's always ready when I need him and he's always really useful. So what you can expect from this card is an offensive fiend that's just going to give you a ton of points on offense. As you saw, 13 goals in 9 games on the power play, that's when he'll be at his best. So that's when you need to utilize him. Overall, I'll give him a 10 out of 10 on skating, 10 out of 10 on shooting, 10 out of 10 on hands, 8.5 out of 10 on defense, and a 9 out of 10 on physical. Overall, he's by far the most lethal player I've used, and he's a must-have. In terms of his skating, his top speed matches Beret, although his acceleration doesn't quite get there. But in total, his skating is just what you need. His shot is incredible. His wrist shot is on par with Heatley, who's the best shooter in the game. His hands, also incredible. He's able to hold on to the puck, do all the deeks you need him to do, and get into shooting position to utilize that lethal wrist shot. His defense is an 8.5 out of 10. Um, it's really that high because of his great discipline. His stick checking is good, but other than that, don't expect him to do too much in the defensive zone. And then as I've mentioned for his physicality, he'll get those big hits in there every so often, but most importantly, he can hold off the defenseman. Thank you for watching this player review. Hopefully I see you in the next one. Please leave in the comments who you'd like me to review on the team, and I'll see you next time.